In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can control multiple MIDI destinations, whether they be hardware synthesizers, iPads, or VSTs, from a source that is external to any door running on a Mac or a PC. In this case, we're going to use an iPad running a sequencer connected via DIN MIDI to port 1 on the front of the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. That's going to control all of the external devices, including a virtual instrument running in the door on the Mac. We're going to sequence Animoog running on one iPad, IMS20 running on the second iPad, both on the USB ports, a microbrute connected via the host jack, a microcorg on DIN port 2, an MS2000 on DIN port 3, a Gaia connected to DIN port 4, and the excellent CS80 emulation running as a VST in the door. To do the sequencing, I have MIDI Pattern Sequencer running on an iPad 1, which is perfectly sufficient for this purpose, and it's connected to DIN port 1 on the front of the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus using an iConnect MIDI 1 DIN connector. I've set up all of the synthesizers to respond on different MIDI channels so that although I'm sending this in through one DIN port, in the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, as it's routed out, each of the synthesizers will respond as they're meant to from the different tracks. In iConfig, we connect the output of the sequencer to the iPads, the DIN ports, and also, because the microbrute is a bi-directional device, even though it's connected via the host port on the hub, also as a target for the output from the iPad sequencer. So now we can control all of our devices from here. Notice that we also have port 7 on USB device jack 3 connected, and that's where we're going to route the information from the sequencer into the door, treating the door very much like another piece of hardware. Inside the door, I make sure that my virtual instrument is receiving information on MIDI channel number 7, and then also that I'm sending to it from the port that's connected to the iPad sequencer using the connections that we've seen how to set up in other tutorials. Well, let's see and hear the end result. You'll see the running lights on the front of the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus as the sequencing information is sent from the iPad 1 through the DIN ports, and you'll also see some movement on the first iPad as the information is sent to it and it plays, and you'll see some of the recording happening on the uh, door because I'm going to record the output. So let's hit record there and then start the sequencer and see what the result sounds like. Remember that all of this control of the hardware is happening independent of the door. The control is being routed via the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus to the external devices from the sequencer running on the iPad. We're even sending output to the door as an external device. And this is achieved by using iConfig and setting the port routing appropriately.